Uh, hey guys, I'm Jan from Polgadek, and in this video, I'm going to introduce you our newest product, the MemSaver. We created the MemSaver because recently we started running into troubles with VRAM while working on very huge scenes. And after some testing, we decided to ship it also to you with some additional functions, new user interface, and stuff like it. So, in this video, I'm going to cover the reasons why you should consider buying the memsaver and yeah so just dive in uh first and the biggest function of memsaver is the adaptive image resize the adaptive image resize resizing the uh, textures based on how big objects appear to the camera and on the camera resolution and uh this is a pretty huge like advantage in optimization since if the camera is stationary uh, uh, if the camera is static, it's not going to take any detail out of the camera, it will just save the VRM. So, for example, imagine uh, there is boundary box around this tree. The camera, see, uh, the object appears to the camera as a boundary box. And basically the memsaver works like, it's telling us like, alright, this object is like one fifth or one sixth of the camera. So it shouldn't take more than one sixth of the wall resolution of the camera. In this case, the camera resolution is 1K. So if we preview the additive size with quality factor of one, I will go to quality factor later. We can tell how much VRAM is actually taking. So this tree going from 4K to 2K, it means it saves more than four times the VRAM. What about this tweet? It's going from 1K to 512 pixels. It's also saying four times the VRM on this particle texture. And the cottage, there is quite a lot of changes. As we can see, there is at least 10 textures and all of them are going to 25 or 50% means uh, it's also safe, uh, saving. It's saving actually 16 times more VRAM so well all right right now if we estimate the memory usage which is also the function of memsaver we will get a list how um, much the things actually cons uh, consume so here we see it's taking almost one gigabyte of the vram and if we go to the additive image resize and set the quality uh, set the quality factor to one it shouldn't affect anything in the scene we apply that Oh, sorry, you need to do it again. It's all objects. And estimate the memory usage. Now we can compare how much it was taking before and now. All right. Um, if we compare the previous and the current scene, as we can see, we save almost half of the memory without single change on how the uh, final render image looks like so uh, to get back into the quality factor the quality factor is the multiplicand of the uh, result image resize it means that from the 1k we get we will get 2k or from the 4k we won't compromise it to 1k but to 2k so we have some reserve if we decide to zoom the camera a bit or do whatever and yeah that's the reason of quality factor right now we can also use the function of resize images. Resize images allows you to pretty simply resize the uh, resize the textures like absolutely immediately without going to any extension software. So right now we will change the textures of this tree to some super minimal one. And tada! Do we see the difference? N no, we don't. Since the tree is using super small textures for relief, and it's pretty far away from the camera. So that's the usage for resize images, but it also could be used for uh, preparing assets, etc. since you have the cache folder. From the cache folder, you can download any, um, any texture uh, the memsaver generates. All right, and the last feature of the memsaver is revert image into the original. Since the memsaver provides its own cache, uh, you can always go back. So if we decide to optimize this, uh, to change the, uh, the, or accidentally change the, uh, 
So if we accidentally change the uh, image size to 128, it looks absolutely horrible, right? The texture on the ground is awful. We don't need to worry, since we can click on revert images to original. We will select all objects and wait a second. It will take you maybe one minute, maybe less. Yeah, and here we go. We get back to the original. All right, I hope this video uh, helps you to clarify if you want to use MemServer or not. And thanks for watching. And see ya.